Hello, Porn With Heart family. We're here with the one and only Miguel Rodriguez, bar back here at the Normandy Club on the corner of 6th and Normandy, ground floor of the Normandy Hotel, downtown Los Angeles. Miguel? Koreatown, Los Angeles. Koreatown, Los Angeles. What's up, you guys? What brought you into Porn With Heart, Miguel? What bar did you start in, and what position were you doing? So this is actually my first bar job. I was working prior to this for another company for about seven years. I was managing franchises for them, so I went to about 25 to 30 different locations with them. And one of the people that I was working with, uh, his name was Juan, shout out to Juan. He was working at Caña at the time, and he told me that you know somebody at the Normandy Club needed a busser, and I happened to live two blocks away. So he was like, hey, you know what, check it out, see if you like it, you know, if you don't, that's totally fine. So I came through, uh, I did a busing shift, and I loved it. It was great, the people, the vibe, everything. So they asked me if I wanted to stick around, you know, get a couple shifts. And I said, yeah, absolutely. And here we are one year later. I started last year in March, and I'm bar backing now, working four days, making more than I was working at, at my previous job. Can you recommend a favorite song for us today? If I were to recommend a favorite song, it probably had to be one of the songs that I consistently hear at, at this bar, and that would probably be Lovers and Friends by Lil Jon. And that song reminds me of Damon as well. Damon, shout out to you. Is there anyone in your life that you admire, and why? The first person to come to my head for that question would have to be my older brother, George. Uh, he's been a very influential role in my life, whether it be trying to motivate me to do better career-wise or just as an individual. Uh, it would have to be him, his core values as a person, as a man, family man. You know, he's just the best of the best and definitely aspire to be like him one day. What would you like to achieve in five years? In five years, I would hope that I am the best version of myself in this company as a person. Uh, right now as a bar back, hopefully, you know, work my way up to a bartender to, you know, be pouring alongside my Normandy Club brothers and sisters, you know, whipping out drinks, showing everybody a good time. And yeah, you know, hopefully, you know, work on my health, emotional health, mental health, and, you know, just aspect of being a better person overall. Of the Pouring With Heart shared values, is there one that speaks to your heart? We connect with others. That's, that's, yeah. We connect with others because at the end of the day, hospitality, you know, it's interacting with people. In my time working in my career, I've always been around people, you know, trying to make people, you know, uh, happy with the service that we provide, whether it be, you know, um, this, uh, my previous job, you know, it was always about the people, you know, and, you know, like we were talking about at the meeting earlier, you know, especially in an environment like this, you know, we get a lot of people who aren't like the best with attitude wise, you know, and like, you know, some people have like, you know, very like hard times and they come, you know, express themselves with a drink and it doesn't matter, you know, at the end of the day, like they said, sometimes those are the people that need the most love. So, you know, it's just like showing love to everybody and providing the best experience, whether you're not the best person, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, maybe we could be the ones to change that for them. Whether they have a great attitude or a terrible attitude, you know, it's just connecting, you know, and maybe, you know, seeing why things are that way and it's changing, you know, let's have a great time together. Well, you chose a little something for us to be able to do a cheers for each other. Yeah. What did you choose and why did you pick it? Chose a nice little Fernet right here. I like Fernet because of the taste, nice little minty taste. It's also low ABV, so, you know, it's something mellow, like when we're hanging out here having a good time and let's say a patron says, hey, you want to do a shot with me? This is probably my go-to shot, that way, you know, I don't get a little too tipsy too fast and I can take it mellow. Smart man. Well, cheers. Cheers, Pedro for each other. For Thank each you for other. taking the time, Miguel. Thank you. For each other. For each other.